Hello and welcome to Seafoam Isles Draft League Season 2, Week 5, Game Something. This match is between Leor27, or just Leor, coach of Snack Time, and Charlie, coach of Elbra, um, the best team name in the league. So, well, these are the two best team names in the league, like actually. Well, ironically. And, and actually. Uh, uh, so, uh, these, they're both, I think, two, no, Leor is one and three going into this match, and Charlie is two and two. So, yeah, that's just a context. The, um, Mega Pokemon, Charlie made a bunch of exchanges, I'm not gonna read them all off now, I guess I can. Um, no, I'm not, I don't really like it whatever he he made like five exchanges so it, it makes sense to talk about pelipper for komala mian chow for reuniclus swampert for zard x volcarona for keldeo and we're seeing the zard x and keldeo in this game so that's pretty much all of the trade context required and yeah, so the Mega Pokemon for Charlie is Mega Charizard X. The Mega Pokemon for Leo is Mega Lopunny. Um, the Z Pokemon are Z Any Thunderous and Z Attack Ramble for Charlie, neither of which came to this game. And the Z Pokemon for Leo are Z Any Porygon Z and Z Attack Lilligant. So, uh, Porygon Z came. The Z Conversion bought. <laughs> um <clears throat> so looking at this i i think it goes without saying at this point that pretty much any fighting type versus Leor is going to be a threat especially one as hyper offensive and dangerous as keldeo because um milotic not actually very safe specs focus blast just shreds milotic <laughs> and either slash drops to specs uh scald even probably keldeo is just a straight up monster there's no denying that um and then just spectrier is deadly though dual normal types are making it its life rather difficult darm g is a dangerous pokemon uh, keldeo cannot really tank it so it's going to be just kind of Rolling with the punches with Darm G or killing it. So maybe unexpected Scarfer or uh, just tanking it with something like unexpected. I guess. No, nothing really tanks Darm G. <laughs> um, Milotic's rather important for stomaching Zard X for Leor. And Porygon Z just looks dangerous because. While Reggie still does just eat dry attacks for breakfast, Z conversion completely throws the notion out the window. So, time to start. Um, Darn G, pretty, pretty much a standard lead. Not, not just for Lair, just in general, rather standard lead. And right out of the gates, Darm is burned. So, I think now Keldeo can rather easily just eat that. <laughs> just any water type. And Keldeo is not actually that, like, weak. Toxic hits Registeel. Doesn't do anything. Skull comes off, does 17%. Gets the burn, which is rather crucial. Now, does Registeel... Registeel has leftovers, so... Preventing leftovers recovery is really good against Reggie Steel and Skull. Just gonna keep firing. Earthquake does a whole four percent. Uh, that's even less than burn. Protect comes off. Just probably going for the yeah. Just letting Milotic wear itself down. Probably like you're probably in range for Specs Focus Blast at this point. This Pokemon is so oh, it's at budget Ash Grand. Budget Ashgrun. Uh, so, let's see. Double into Reggie's Steel on the Toxic. 
that was really dangerous by Leor, I think. But also, that was an okay play. I don't think Focus Blast, even Specs Focus Blast, would have knocked from that range. And it looks like it's killed you Resolute. So, it probably doesn't even have Focus Blast in the first place. It's probably running Secret Sword. Flare Blitz does a whole 20%. And Burn is going to just absolutely screw up Big Moak. Um, <clears throat> in comes Zhang Yu, I think that's how you say it, on the flip turn. So that's probably a choice to kill Dio. It might not be, but it didn't take any life orb. It could, it could still be like sub -com mind hydro pump flip turn. Protect comes off by Age Slash. So I'm going to guess Age Slash just, yeah, just eats that. Maybe it's special Age Slash because that is possible. Nope, it's physical. But it doesn't really matter due to Spectre having like 65 base defense and the just Slash having a billion base um, attack in general. So it kind of just trades off. Shadow Sneak does 13 to Sableye. Iron Head's going to do like 25. And since the just Slash is already burned, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what Sableye really is going to do here. Knockoff. Well, yeah, Knockoff does is kind of add for you just slash but then again Sableye just kind of not that strong yeah this 29% though removing the recovery is probably a bigger deal than the actual like damage itself taunt comes off on iron head okay it's not a prediction I'm not gonna well it could be a prediction but I'm not gonna call it a prediction it was just a good play going for throat and now i think we're gonna see each slash get burn stalled by sable eye uh maybe into range for spectre air nope in comes registeel registeel's going to probably earthquake and do like 15 percent uh whenever taunt wears off yeah so taunt's gone king shield is pretty much inevitable now uh copying the plus two attack Ditto is actually pretty good, I would say, but yeah, you have to face down Megalopony, which is probably going to kill a Pokemon, because uh, Shadow Sneak can't hit unless, yeah, I was going to say, unless you're not, uh, whatever. So in comes Registeel, takes that fake out like a champion. Uh, protect comes off. The protect's not going to do a whole lot, honestly. It's going to maybe impede progress slightly, but I think it's just wasting a turn. Um, unless you're planning on PP stalling close combat, which is pretty much impossible, considering Megalopony being Megalopony. In comes Ditto, transforms. Play on Milotic. Yeah. Milotic's going to take like 40-ish from close combat. Nope, just 30. So... Milotic can safely click recover here. Well, not safely. That might have just been a roll, but yeah. It, it looked like it was a good, a high roll, actually, for Charlie the first time. So, Milotic is pretty safe right now. In comes Spectrier. Will Skull break the Spec sub? That's the question. Because Hex is going to do, like, monumental levels of damage here. Scald should break it. Yeah. Spectre is not particularly bulky. To the point of being able to reliably set sub. If Scald can burn here, that would be incredible for... Um, layer. Actually, no. It would probably be a bad thing, honestly. Um, Spec goes for the substitute on the Toxic. Spectre is in a really good spot right now. I think Spectre might want to go for Hex. Do infinity damage like like a Spectre air type guy would do. So, in comes Darmanitan, probably Scarfed. Yep, goes for U-turn, fades the sub into Porygon Z on what I'm going to guess is a Hex. Yep. Very good pivot into Porygon Z. I don't think... Yeah, this has nothing, so it's going to definitely swap. Z converts into... 
dark type like like epic. Uh, so now what? Will o Wisp doesn't hit because of Prankster. Dark Pulse nukes back. I think Ditto comes in here. There's no way. Okay. Oh, it's Scarf. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense, though. I think you probably could have swept with Ditto, though. Whatever. Um, Earthquake comes off. Does 44 to Spectriere. The burn? I was going to say maybe switch to Charizard there. Let it burn to death. And then you have a good hand versus the remaining Pokemon on Leo's team. But Keldeo already actually kind of has that. So it's not really anything special. Uh, Triple Axel comes off. Going to do like 60 ish percent rock blast comes off the other end does most of Chinchino, the opposing Chinchino's HP um so fake out does nine percent finishes off ditto scarf Keldeo is gonna clean that is a good game. Um, 2 0 for Charlie. Very fun game to watch, honestly. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I think in this game, you showcase how good Keldeo is. Because Keldeo kind of was pretty much vital. Uh, Secret Sword is really neat for breaking walls, but uh, in the future, I don't know if Scarf comes every game. I think Specs Focus Blast will probably come one or two weeks. This thing is just such a monumental threat. The, the Dark Conversion Porygon Z was really interesting. It worked until it didn't. <laughs> I think if it converted to Z Ghost, it might have been really, really scary because then if Ditto comes in and clicks Shadow Ball, you have a way to revenge it. Uh, Ash Greninja can't kill you with Secret Sword, etc., etc. So, I was just a really fun interaction, um, really interesting, but that's really all I have to say. Good game, both, um, and I'll see you next next game.